What's going on YouTube? Samuel Adams here and today we're going to be doing something that a lot of you guys have been asking for which is a hitting tips video. Now I would not say I am one of the top 10 players but I definitely think I am a really good player. I can compete with anybody and if you watch this video I guarantee you will learn a thing or two that will make you a better hitter over time. So the first thing we are going to do is going straight into my settings. So I'll show you guys what I use. So hitting difficulty is on dynamic now, but it all depends if you're on Hall of Fame, All-Star Legend, whatever. My hitting view is Strike Zone. Now, if you want to play this game at a competitive level, I highly, highly advise for you to use Strike Zone as a hitting view. You see all the top players, all the streamers use it, and it's because you can read the pitches the best from the Strike Zone view. So I definitely, you can use two or three, it's up to you. I like to use the normal strike zone. I think I can read pitches the best from this view. I hit the best from this view, so I use it. Now here, we're gonna go into in play view hot or in play view offense. I have it on high. Now, a lot of people ask why. A lot of people like the dynamic because you can see the no, the no doubt homers, but the view in the field is not the best when it's on dynamic and when it's on high, if you hit like a line drive over the outfielder's head, it's way easier to read on high. So you get a way better jump off the bases. And I feel like that happens a lot more than the no doubt homers. So I, I would advise you guys to keep it at medium or high. Again, I like it on high, works for me. So I keep it on high. Now we're gonna go on to the hitting interface. The hitting interface, there's three different options here, right? You have zone, directional, and pure analog. I will tell you guys right away to not use directional, do not use pure analog. You have to use zone again if you want to be competitive. You get the best out of your hitters using zone so you can control your own PCI. I'm telling you guys, you have to use zone. I see, uh, hear a lot of people use directional. If you want to be the best hitter you can be, use zone. I'm telling you, that's the way to go. Now here's my PCI. I have it on. You can have it off even with zone, but you won't be able to see it. Keep it on so you can see your PCI. These are my PCI settings right now. For the PCI center, I have diamond. For the PCI inner, wedge. For the PCI outer, starfighter. For the PCI color, I like white. You can use any color, it's all preference. There's, I mean, there's a bunch of different colors this year. Super, super cool that they gave us this option to customize our own PCI. They've never had it in an MLB game before until 20. I like to keep it on high. The transparency, I keep it on 80%. I like to see my PCI with white. I feel like it's kind of too bright at 100. At 50%, I don't see as much of it. 80% works for me. And for the PCI fade out, I keep inner and outer. So there's two, there's different PCIs this year. You have the outer version, which is supposed to be like the contact version. You have the one that's a little bit inside that, the inner version, which is more supposed to be like the power, almost like the uh, the reticle of last year. And then you have the middle of it, which it could be, there's three different versions with the center, diamond, circle, or altitude. I like diamonds the best. It's just, again, that's preference. I use diamonds. I see a lot of people use circle, altitude. I just like diamond. So that's what my hitting settings look like. I would advise you guys to use the same settings. Again, you can change your set your your center PCI whatever you want you can change the fade out if you wanted to keep it the in and the diamonds or the circles whatever it's all preference for your PCI customization this is what my PCI looks like but I definitely advise you to use zone and strike zone view so now I'm going to go to custom practice and show you guys some tips on how to get better at hitting first things first if you want to go to mini mode right here go down to custom practice now, first, you're going to set up the away team. I like to use the legend teams. There's three legend teams over here. So we're going to skip over. You have the long ball beast, the expansion era boomers, and the mid-century groundbreakers. It doesn't really matter which we use. I use the boomers to pitch. That's going to be the away team. You don't want to hit as the away team. I don't know if it happens this year, but there's a glitch last year where all you would get is fastballs if you hit as the away team. So I set up the boomers as the away team because I, they have a couple of pitchers that throw five pitches. You throw sinker, the sliders, all the pitches you're going to see in Diamond Dynasty gameplay. So I like to verse those type of pitchers. So now we're going to go to another legend team over here. I'm just, you can just choose either one of these, the, the long ball beast or the 
Minstetsu Groundbreakers. We're going to choose the Long Ball Beast and we'll get right into it. And I'll show you guys some things that I think will help you. So now here again, you can go into any stadium you want. I'm going to go to the stadium that I'm playing in this year, which is Capitol Field. I'm going to put it on overcast. I'm going to put it at night in October so I can see the ball the best. Now, when you load into the game, you're going to be set up as the pitcher. So what you got to do, pause it, go, go to create play. So you're just going to press X right here at the top. Press X again, go to batting. No, you do not want to repeat pay. You do not want to repeat your play. You want to keep it going until you get three outs. Now here, you just go down, you go to the pitcher. Now here, they have Nolan Ryan, Seaver, Blue. They have a bunch of different options that you can choose, right? If you want a versatile reliever, you can. Again, I like to go with the guys that have five pitches. Here's Tom Seaver. We'll just keep the hitters as is. Then we're gonna go, we're gonna press O, go to options. Now, here's where you can set your hitting difficulty. So first, we're gonna start on All-Star, okay? Because a lot of the problems that you guys have Whenever you guys go to the streams, the live streams, you guys come and say, how do I not drop my PCI, right? And it's hard to go into full detail about how to not drop it while I'm playing. So here we're gonna go. We go right into options. And all I want you guys to do is read the pitch. Don't even swing. So you're gonna just sit here, right? And you're gonna read the pitch, right? You saw my PCI went right to the ball. I saw it was a slider. Now, you guys can do this. I'm telling you guys, all you gotta do, read the pitch, right? Over and over again. You see the PCIs there, I saw it was a fastball. And I'm telling you guys, if you guys do this for 10, 15, 20 minutes, I know it's some time, guys. If you guys wanna hit like your streamers, right? You guys see your favorite streamer, your favorite YouTuber, you're like, how does he hit like that? Well, I'm gonna tell you guys, these streamers, the YouTubers, they put in time, they put in the work to get better. You think about it. Personally, I live stream from five to eight hours a day. I then go on YouTube, make some YouTube content. That could be an extra hour. So again, I'm playing this game from five to nine hours a day, every single day. So we put in the time to get better. So you guys also have to put in that time to get better, right? So if you sit here in practice and you read the pitch for 15 to 20 minutes, I'm telling you guys, you will get better. Once you're comfortable with reading the pitch, that's when you start pressing X and hitting the ball. Right? And when you're comfortable doing that on All-Star, you move the difficulty up to Hall of Fame. You do the same thing. Read the pitch, read the pitch, read the pitch. And this might not be a day thing, right? Say you can't read it. Do it for a week, do it for two weeks, do it for a month on All-Star. Whatever it takes until you start feeling extremely comfortable reading the pitch. And you go up to all the Hall of Fame. And again, once you're comfortable in Hall of Fame, you go to Legend. And I'm telling you guys, this will work. I used to do this myself, I'm telling you. It has worked for me. Here we go. We'll just sit. It's a one-two count, right? We don't care about getting out. The counts don't matter. We're just going to read the pitch. We're right there, right? But now you see my PCI is on the ball. I feel comfortable. Okay, let's hit now, right? We're comfortable. Ball one. I saw that right out of the hand. Easy ball. Again, just sit here. You're comfortable reading the pitch. Now I'm ready to hit. Hopefully we can get one to hit here. I See, I drop. I drop. It happens to everybody. But you know what? The one-one count. That's fine. You can drop. And there you go. We crush the ball. We get good, good timing. We hit it into the gap. Okay, now we're comfortable on All-Star again. After this, you can change it up again. Just like I said, two Hall of Fame. You change the difficulty here. And again, when you're comfortable, you just can, you just can keep playing with it, right? I like to move my PCI. And another thing, another little tip. So what I do with my PCI, right? I don't like to keep it directly in the middle as I'm getting older, my reaction time is getting a little bit slower, right? So I like to sit on that high fastball, okay? So here, I'm sitting on the fastball right here. Not, not all the way up here, guys, right here. Just a little bit higher, right? So this is a PCI normally, I keep it right here. Ball one. Again, just read the pitch. I'll keep my PCI right here. I sit on the fastball, but I adjust to the off speed. You have more time to adjust. So I'm thinking fastball, fastball, fastball. Two one, I saw that out of hand, the ball. You just want to sit on a pitch. So I'm always sitting on fastball, right? Always sitting on the fastball. 3-1, he doesn't want to throw the chipper. I don't blame him. Again, we're going to sit on the fastball. Hopefully, he can throw a ball in the zone here so we can see if we can hit one here. And he's going to walk us. But you saw my PCI was all around the baseball, right? So another, another thing that a lot of people don't talk about when it comes to hitting tips 
is the situation you are in. So let's go, let's create a play here. Let's go. Let's create no, no count, right? There's one out. There's a runner on third and there's a runner on, actually, yeah, one out, first and third. Now in this situation, what you do not want to do is ground to double play. Ending, 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 it's over, right? But I see a lot of you guys, there's changeups first pitch away and you're swinging at it. You're grounding to a double play and you're like, why can't I score runs? You're not being smart in your at bats, right? It's just as simple as that. So you got to be smart. You got to always have a plan when it comes up because you only have 27 outs in the game. Or if you're playing BR, you have nine outs to play with, right? If you waste two outs, you're losing. You're gonna lose, right? You just cannot do that. So you always have to have a plan with your at bats. So if there's one out and it's first and third, I'm trying to lift the ball. If I do swing at a pitch low, you have to make sure that PCI gets under the ball. If you hit an infield pop fly, it's okay. You know why? That's one out. You have to, you have one more out remaining. You're not grounding to the double play. So here, I have Frank Thomas up. One out, first and third. All I want to do here is hit a high fly ball. If I connect, I connect. But I just want to get this ball in the air. And like I said, he threw a fastball. Again, I chased it with the bad swing. But at least I got under it, right? I got under it. So now there's two outs. I still have an out to play with. Hopefully, we can get a two out hit here. Who knows? But. And you know, I that says good okay. I squared it up. I hit a deep fly out. But again, like I said, you need to have a plan when it comes to hitting every single at bat. If you have a guy who's a speedster leading off the inning, you don't want to chase the first pitch. You need that guy on base. He's going to create pressure for your opponent. He's going to be slide stepping. He's going to be thinking about him. Then he grooves the fastball. You hit a homer. You're up two zeros. <laughs> it's like that. So you always need to have a plan when you're at the plate. So now what we're going to do is go into BR game and I'm going to show you guys some live gameplay and my thinking process of what I'm doing while I'm hitting. So let's go right into that. So now I'm in a BR game right here. And one thing I advise you guys to do is if you guys are trying to play at a certain time, do never pick 11 a.m. and never pick 4 p.m. The times you should do to get the best view is either July at 1 p.m. or October at 7 p.m. If you do October at 7 p.m., it will be nighttime. You can obviously read the ball at night. And July at 1 p.m., there will be no glare throughout the game. If you pick a time like any time at 4 p.m., you get a really, really bad glare from the hitter's eye and you cannot see the pitch. So if you guys are trying to get into a game and you want to see it clearly, July at 1 p.m. or October at 7, I like it at night, so we're going to choose October at 7. I'll show you guys some in-game tips now. So here we go. We got Tebow leading off versus Otani. I am sitting on a fastball here. Let's see if we can do some damage right away. Just sitting on the fastball. And he throws a curveball. You see it hang. You see that? So we sit on it. We crush it to the moon. And that's what I'm saying, guys. You got to sit on the fastball and you can adjust to the off-speed pitches because it's so much slower, right? We're still, again, we're sitting on the fastball here. You guys see where the PCI is? That's a dot. We lay off it. We keep our PCI right here. Ooh, I was early. I was early. That ball should have been crushed. We were a little bit early. The slider away. Now, again, you know he's probably throwing off speed. Again, I'm still sitting on the fastball, though. Good pitch. 99 is tough. We're getting, we're sitting on the fastball. We adjust to the off speed. And we know that he has to shift on. And anytime, anytime there's a shift on, guys, and there's a pitch away, all you got to do is go with it, right? So we know we have more time that we can see the pitch when there's a shift. We saw the time. He threw the fastball. We took our time and we went the other way. Here's Big Poppy. We have the platoon advantage. So we're trying to hit a moonshot here. Oh, that was dirty. That was dirty. So it's 1 1. We know he throws gas, but that's again, quality AB right there. We had a plan. What we wanted to do was hit it to the right side. Now here, let's see if it's his, if his infield's back, his infield's in, right? So what we're trying to do is lift the ball here. So we're going to sit on the pitch just like that. Try to lift it to the outfield. See what we can do. We want to get under it and we are jammed. We do not do our job. Terrible hitting. But he threw the pitch we wanted. We just were a little bit late. 
Now we need a hit, but here's another speedster. We're gonna see what he does here for first pitch. He throws a splitter. He's worried about the speedster. We're gonna sit on fastball here. I think it's coming. Oh, 2 0. I was sitting on it. We can check our swing. You lightly tap X for a check swing. 2 0. He throws us the fastball. We're sitting on it. We get perfect, perfect, and we hit it to the moon. So there's the hitting tips video. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button, guys. I'm trying to get the channel to 1,000 subs. We just got over 500, which blows my mind. So we're on the road to 1,000. If you guys have not yet, hit that, that subscribe button. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, guys. Like I say, it helps the channel out so much. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitch, my, my name is twitch.tv forward slash Samuel underscore Adams. That will be in the description below. But again, if you guys have any type of hitting questions, write them either in the comment section below or go DM me on Twitter. My Twitter will also be in the description below. You guys can always DM me. I'm pretty good at getting back to you guys with DMs. So if you have any type of questions, I'll try to give my best advice for you guys. So hopefully you guys can get better at hitting, get to World Series, get 12-0, and 0, and let me know when you guys do, because I love it. I absolutely love it when you guys improve and hit your goals. So until then, guys, I love you guys, I appreciate you guys, and I'm out.